From the original designs of the Wright brothers to the trusted Cessna and Piper trainers that taught so many of us to fly, every aircraft carries the legacy of beginning first as an experimental design. In this video, pilot, mechanic, and builder Matt Meyer introduces us to a one-of-a-kind Super Cup. Let's take a look at a handcrafted and distinct aircraft designed to meet a customer's exact vision and precise specifications. Uh, this airframe began as Airframes Alaska fuselage. Um, it's a Super Cub PA-18. It didn't start off as a previous airplane, certified airplane. This started as a just a bare uh, welded tubular airframe and, uh, and Javron wings. And they're the long, long wings. So I think it's about a foot and a half longer each wing. Um, it took, I'd say, about 1,200 hours. It took a little over a year, probably probably 14 months, and that's with other work also. Um, a lot of the time I was full time on it, but I'd say probably a good, probably half of the time was, was part time. A lot of the stuff, because Super Cubs have been modified so much over the years, a lot of the STCs and stuff that are available for the certified airplane, um, are incorporated into this, so um, a lot of certified airplanes would have similar modifications to this. Um, some of the stuff that's not certified are the wings that are longer, um, that's kind of experimental only. And then along with the longer wings, these um, Fowler style flaps, um, they're the pistol flaps. They are certified for a stock Super Cub, but they're shorter. These are extra long um, with three hangers on them. And that I do not believe is certified for a normal Cub. Um, so that's different. That tail wheel is not certified. Uh, that's strictly just experimental. Um, it's got the three inch bigger elevators and rudder. And that's an experimental thing from Javron. And this is the L21 style fuselage. So the windows go all the way back to the rear side of the turtle deck. And this does have extended baggage that goes back pretty far, but that's also an SDC thing. So that's, that could have been in a certified cub also. This extended baggage didn't weigh that much more because the modification to drop the elevator cables below the structure of the fuselage it allows you to lay the baggage floorboards directly onto the structure so that it doesn't have heavy steel angle brackets um, to support all that. It just lays directly onto the structure. So it's pretty light. The only weight really is the floorboards themselves back there. And they're all carbon fiber, so it came out pretty light. All the side panels are carbon fiber. Um, this is about, this is exactly 1130 33 pounds empty and that includes unusable fuel so I put fuel in it and drained it um, from where it hooked up to the carburetor and then added another gallon and a half per side um, and it includes the oil and all the normal empty weight stuff all the all the cover panels um, all the interior was in it with these wheels 31 inch wheels and 10 inch rims um, so it's a true empty weight. A lot of um, a lot of Super Cub builds um, could be a lot lighter than 1133, um, but for how this is equipped with autopilot, two autopilot servos, full glass panel, full interior in it, nothing's really stripped down. Um, you could strip it down, um, do bare minimum paint and everything, and you could get it lighter than that for sure. But for what's what's on this airplane, these 10 inch rims and shocks and, and the motor being a 370 is a little, quite a bit heavier than a 320. Um, 1133 is not bad, it's pretty light. The engine in this airplane is a Titan IO370. Um, so it's like a Lycoming 360, but um, it's stroked out. So. This particular one was built by Javron 
and it puts out 205 horsepower. Uh, and it's for it's about the same weight as a 360, which would put out 180 horse. Uh, the prop is a Kato ground adjustable prop, so it's not it's pretty light. Like this customer was very, whenever I said I think we should do this this way instead, um, there was really no never a question. So we just we did it. It was kind of a really cool build because got to do everything that I thought we should change or improve upon during the build process. It was always, yeah, let's do it. So, which made it really awesome, a really awesome project. Yeah, yeah, I'm a mechanic and do, do a lot of maintenance on certified airplanes, but experimental is where, is where that's the fun stuff. <laughs> Building airplanes and um, for me it's a job, but it's also a hobby. So I get to do what I like to do for work, and and then after work I pretty much do the same thing. <laughs> yeah, finding the right customer is important. I would definitely like to do some more of this experimental building projects. <laughs>